the mistletoe margarita, the Scrooge driver, the North Pole punch. The holidays call for cocktails, so get everything you'll need for them delivered with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. So what's it gonna be? Classics like Bullet Bourbon, Don Julio Reposado, or Kettle One, or maybe something new. Find it all on Drizzly where you can get beer, wine, and spirits delivered for any holiday festivity. Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. On this episode of The Commercial Break. Hey everybody, I've got some rather sad TCB family news. Just a couple of days ago, we had to put Nico, the smelly ghost dog, down. We've talked about this little guy so much on this podcast, I feel like he was another member of the crew. Nico enriched our lives from the day he walked in the door. We took him on from another family member who was unable to care for him at the time. And what some people probably don't know is that Nico spent the first half of his life at the foot of a dying cancer patient. Nico truly was a gentle soul. And while he smelled a little bit funky, he was the sweetest dog you could imagine. This one said, us a little bit tough, so we're going to take a couple of mental health days, and we'll be back on Monday with brand new episodes of The Commercial Break. But until then, if you see an apparition in the air, a little white fluffy dog with a bad eye floating around, spreading his special kind of puppy cheer, know that that's Nico. He's looking over you. I've often said that dogs are magical creatures who bring nothing but unconditional love into our lives, but the deal we almost always make with them is that we will be the ones that watch them go. A sad day for the commercial break, but hopefully this episode gives you a laugh while we're doing some healing, and we'll be back into fighting form on Monday morning. Until then, enjoy this episode of the commercial break. The next episode of the commercial break starts now. Out of the commercial break, I'm Brian Green. This is my dear friend and co-host Chrissy Hoadley, affectionately referred to as just Hoadley. <laughs> if you don't mind, best to you, Chrissy. Best to you, Brian. Best to you out there in the podcast universe. How the hell are you? Thanks for joining us on yet another episode of this, the commercial break. The only one you'll ever need, guaranteed. Fast and furious. Here we go. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Guy jumps off a cruise ship. There's like a there's like an epidemic of people jumping off of cruise ships. Yeah. Have you seen this? No, but I just was listening to something the other day about somebody that discovered the nautical miles of how people float into the ocean. Well, it, and that helped them save some people that jumped off. There's a, I told you, there's like a whole yeah. class online. There's a guy who is like a former ship captain slash yeah. I don't, a Naval Academy guy. Right. Right. And he has figured out a whole process by which a cruise ship or any ship should go about searching right. for people over where I heard about it. But you, the so truth you is, it. is that one, yeah, I, I, it's me. I did it. If, if you're relying on me for your fact. I heard this somewhere. Every once in a while we should get this disclaimer. If you're relying on the commercial break for any information, you're a moron. We give no facts. Nothing we say here is true. Just make that assumption. It's what make we the think assumption. is true at it's the what, time. It's what we want to think is true because it's funnier yeah. that way. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Don't give me no bullshit. It flows. Yeah, I, I it just flows. love. I love. It's especially on YouTube. I just love when people are like, or someone leaves an Apple review. Dude, get your facts straight. Get my facts straight. That's not funny. Facts are not funny. <laughs> That's the truth. True. <laughs> That's a fact. The fact yeah. is, facts aren't funny. Okay. <laughs> now we know why we're all in this shit all together. <laughs> uh, so people, there's been an epidemic of people just like jumping off cruise ships. Okay. Now, maybe it's just being reported more frequently because it's kind of in vogue to like beat up on the cruise ship industry. But some lady was uh, in a hot tub uh, r- wrestling about with some other folks, <laughs> and the security came up to like, you know, get her out of the hot tub and tell her she couldn't be in the hot tub because she's Uh-oh. acting like an idiot. Yeah. And they went to go lock her hands behind her so that they could zip tie her, and she got away from them. This is on video. She got away from them and just, woo, just jumped off the ship. What in the actual fuck? fuck? And then there was another guy. And apparently, uh, like Brian, he was doing the uh, late night, <laughs> you know, walk around the yeah, reconnaissance, <laughs> trying to figure out, you know, how boats when work. With your multiple cameras yeah, tied mean, around your neck. That's right. <laughs> taking photographs at every your angle. ring light. Yeah. <laughs> I've got like a dat tape, you know, one of those reel to reel things. I'm just walking around with it. A big microphone. Get out of the shot. Get out of the shot. It's 
for my kids. It's for the children. Uh, yeah, you walk around those ships at night, and it's a little precarious. Like yeah. the wind's whipping around. There's no one around you. Everything's slippery because they're washing the de- you know they're plowing the deck or whatever they call it. Right. Plowing the deck. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the term for it. Plow the deck. <laughs> Get the winches. Just washing off the deck. Spraying the no, deck. No, they call it plowing the deck. <laughs> that's what they call it. Turning the deck. Plowing the deck. Is that a fact? <laughs> it's like that. Yes. Look it up. I dare you. Uh, <laughs> call me. I dare you. you. Call me. I dare, dare you. <laughs> All right. And what happens if I don't? What are you going to do? <laughs> okay. So guys, uh, you know, running around the top of the ship on his own. Yeah. And then video camera caught him just like, woo, just like jumping. <laughs> Jeez, did they find these people? No, of course not. Because the truth is, is no matter how hard a cruise ship tries to find somebody, a cruise ship can't find somebody. It's, it's got to be a, it's too massive. Now, there's like a figure eight that they can do to like look, but you know, and they have all this complicated, you know, like nest technology that they use. Like, I would ring. be pissed if I was on a cruise too, and all oh, of yeah. a sudden we're off schedule because some idiot jumped off. Hmm. We're circling around in an eight. Chrissy Hoadley, dial 1-800-EMPATHY for Chrissy Hoadley. <laughs> I, normally, I normally have a lot of empathy. I'd be pissed people. if I was late to Taco Maco or Cabo I... San Lucas because some fuck now decided to fall off a crow ship. Well, specifically jump. Yeah. Let his children figure that one out. <laughs> Get a his dinghy. Children in, yeah. Get a dinghy and let's move on. Well, that's what they do. Okay, they, throw okay. a, they throw a smaller ship into the ocean, yes. which is still not a small boat. And then they zip around with a big flashlight and they try. But, you know, once you're in the ocean, it's so at hard to night. see somebody. Yeah, I mean, at night. During the clear, crystal clear day with no waves, it would be hard yes. to see somebody. Yes. Because the ocean is just like it's an, it's a, it's illusional. It's, it's a delusion like that. My guess is they fucking didn't like the, the, <laughs> They ate the food. And they were like, seven days of this? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll take my chances <laughs> because some of that cruise ship food is bad. I've never been on a cruise, so I'm... you cook though. You're a cooker. You can cook. I do. I yeah. love to cook. So uh, Astrid and I went down to this. I won't name the resort because I actually like it, so I'm not going to beat it up here on air. <laughs> we went down to this all inclusive down to the Dominican Republic. Yeah, lovely place. Huge. Mm-hmm. They've got like literally have like a. Fox Theater like theater yes. in on the actual grounds. Yeah. And then they have hundreds of buildings that each have their own ho- you know, hotel rooms and different sizes and shapes. And ours had like a jacuzzi inside of the room. Ours did too. Oh, really? I went to Dominican. Th- yeah, I think we're that. probably yes, talking yes, about yes, the same place. Yes. Hold on one second. Yeah, okay, yes, yeah, yeah. Yep. And they have like <laughs> and they have like famous bands yeah, that go it and play was there. a great resort. It's a lovely, lovely place. However, the food is shite. It's yeah. shite. Like we went to the Yeah, you have to pick and choose. We went to the Japanese I just ordered bacon. Yeah, that's why I, I, I had a lot of <laughs> eggs and a lot of bacon. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. And then they had the ice cream shop, but the ice cream shop was like, you know, mm, uh, I don't questionable. know where the ice cream was made. Yeah. <laughs> I think people died because they like didn't clean the, and every room had its own like liquor dispenser cabinet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. So you just go up and press the button and you got liquor. It was, <laughs> it was crazy. And now I'm not a drinker, but had I been, I probably, probably would have taken advantage. <laughs> but anyway, I, took advantage I went to the Japanese restaurant. Yeah, they have one of those. Yeah. Yep. One of the, you know, the hibachi. Yes, hibachi. And man, I'll tell you what, I've never seen any th- such a shit show in my entire life as this hibachi. This guy's it was obviously his first day of work. He was most definitely not Japanese. He was like a Dominican Republic guy. And I we tipped him so well because he was just trying. Trying really but, hard. But I mean, he was so close to cutting his hand off and then he was like throwing the eggs, but he like threw the whole egg and it like went across the room uncooked. And then planted. I mean, there were children were getting hurt. It was it was bad. Soy sauce was everywhere. Uh-huh. It was bad. Like it gets so bad that the manager had to come over and like help divvy out the food right. my steak was not even close to cooked and i'm not even sure what kind of steak that was no to be with yeah it. it's a different kind of steak yeah there. it's a different kind of steak it's mm. dominican cow which you know is different than the american beef we eat yes. here uh but all of this is to say and, uh, and i'm also an extremely picky out eater now i don't complain yeah. i'm not a complainer but astrid always knows that there's a 75% chance that wherever we go, I'm going to push food around my plate. Okay. Just pretending like I like it, right? Because I won't complain. I'm not going to complain to the chef, right. to the, anybody at the table. I'm not that guy. But I do, I'm really finicky about what I eat. Yeah. And now my son is starting to get some of these same tendencies. 
Well, I think that's just a normal. Well, so well, listen, you tell me if this is normal, okay? <laughs> I mean, I think some of it's normal, and I think some of it's he's picking up on dad's habits mm-hmm. too. Because the other day we got a pizza, and we get this pizza, and in the tomato sauce of the pizza, there is oregano, like finely diced oregano. Every once in a while, you see a little black thing in your pizza sauce, right? Yes. Or a pasta sauce or whatever. And he's like, ah! <laughs> ah! And I'm like, what? Ah! He's pointing to the pizza, and I'm like, it's pizza. And he's like, ah, ah, look, Dad, look, look, look. And I'm like, what is it? <laughs> and he's like, it's a bug. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's oregano. And he's like, he's like, no bug. And I'm like, no, 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 oregano. It's part of the pizza sauce. Like, you, you can eat yeah, it. It's, it's part the of herb. the pizza sauce. Right. <laughs> and so, and I'm like, son, just eat it. And he's like, no, Dad, Dad, take it, take it, take it. And so I take the little bat black piece off, and I'm like, there you go. It's fine, right? And he's like, eh. It was there. Eh. So then I turn around for two seconds because the other kid is throwing, you know, meatballs across the room. Right. And I turn around for two seconds and I look and Matty's feeding the pizza to the dog. <laughs> Blue is like eating the pizza. And I'm like, Matty, you can't feed the pizza to the dog. And he's like, eh, bugs. And yeah, I'm like, no, it doesn't have bugs. It wasn't but, bugs. Yeah, if it, it does have bugs, why are you feeding it to the dog? <laughs> Uh, On second thought, feed it to the dog. Yeah, yeah. Blue will eat anything. You know, I, I'm such a finicky eater, but I can't cook a fucking thing. Mm. I just cannot cook. a. F- that's not true. I can cook. I, back in my day when I was a swinging single, yeah. I had a few go-to recipes. You've got to. A few go-to recipes that I could really impress mm-hmm. women with. One was a salmon type dish. I'd cook the salmon. Yeah. One was a st- tuna steak mm. type dish. Ooh, tuna and then steak. if you got me on the grill... I could probably cook you a really nice steak. Nice. Right? Okay. Now, really this like was pasta. all... Yes. But this, what the most important part of the meal was the wine that we would drink before the of meal. Of course. Because the drunker we got, <laughs> the better it the tasted. The better it yes, tasted. Right? No matter how it ended up. Because I was really just fucking guessing on all of it. Yeah. Right? I was like, I don't have any... Dash of this. Dash, dash of this. Of splash that. of that. Pour lemon juice on it. Lemon juice makes everything taste better. Right? <laughs> It's cayenne pepper. I remember when I, like, on a first date with my ex, I, she came over to the house. I got back from a long vacation, like a long trip. We first met, we started dating, like two weeks after we started dating, I went across country for like a month. Okay. And I, three weeks a month. I came back and it was my birthday or my birthday had just passed. And she cooks this like lamb chop, you know, ba 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 the like whole nine yards. This beautiful meal at my house, ready for me nice. when I get back. It was okay. wonderful. It's delicious. Such a nice, you know, such a nice So a couple of weeks later I decide I'm gonna return the favor. Mm-hmm. And I buy some salmon. And I put it in the oven <laughs> and we go do whatever we're going to do. And we drink, 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 drink. And we put it in the oven and it's time to take it out. Like whatever it is, 30 minutes later. No, right? not 30. You can't do 30 minutes of the salmon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many minutes it was. But when we took it out, the salmon had like melted. Yeah. Because I cooked I was it at s- 750 <laughs> degrees for an hour. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it was like. Yeah. But it didn't burn. It just was like, it was like you could stick a fork. Work in it and just pick it up entirely. Just, it was oh yeah, fight. just totally no no moisture whatsoever. Well, the problem was is that I bought like fro. It, maybe it wasn't salmon, but I bought it frozen and then I cooked it at seven hundred and fifty degrees. Yeah. So it was a piece of shit. So now <laughs> I I gleefully and happily hand all cooking responsibilities to my wife, who yes. is Venezuelan, who makes wonderful. Ah, oh, she's food. a fantastic cook. She can take two ingredients, the only two ingredients that we have left in yeah, the fucking refrigerator. That's and the just, way you can do. Just do, do it up. I know Jeff will be like, "We have nothing in the house." I'm like, "We've got plenty." Here, let yeah. me get. After it's like, we got up. salt and apple. Uh, yeah. <laughs> two Xanax. Rice. We're good to go. Yeah, I, I got this. Don't worry, we're gonna cook it up, and then everyone's happy. Yeah. Everyone's like, "Oh, that's delicious." How did you make? <laughs> she's like, "I got the." Bottom of a bag of pretzels, <laughs> some trolls cereal, <laughs> two eggs and a lemon. We yeah, I got this, yeah. you know, and it's like a five star meal. I'm like, wow, that's delicious. <laughs> How did you do that? I can't even get mac and cheese right. I'm like pouring the powder into the boiling water. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just bad. This is bad. It's all bad. <laughs> it makes me jealous for those who can cook. Yeah. I wish I could. Oh. I wish I could. We have a few friends who are wonderful chefs. Yes, we do. You Rachel. just have to spend a little time doing it. I know. Mm-hmm. I wish. I wish. I. I wish I had the patience, the time, <laughs> yeah. or the energy, or the effort to do. Yeah, any I think of the that. moments passed on your time. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm on the back. I'm on. I'm in my midnight. I'm in my life midnight. 
<laughs> now, I'm just saying, I don't think you have any extra time right now with the kids, the uh, podcast, no. the job, the uh, life. Yeah, yeah. Everything. <laughs> life, wife, life. I don't, yeah, nothing. I'm lucky if I get, if I can be in between her neighboring needs, <laughs> if you know what yes. I mean. That means sex is going to happen. <laughs> 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 Go back and watch that love connection. The love That's connection. The, the one, audience man. just goes nuts. Oh my god! They for go anything crazy. related to sex, yeah. it's like just a tiny innuendo. I know they said, <laughs> and then we move from the love seat to the couch. couch. Oh! <laughs> He's gonna get his dick sucked. <laughs> it's like they've never, ever been involved in a sexual activity. I know. Ever. I know. Uh, so all of this food talk and all of this food stuff happening around the house made me think about something we had talked about about a month ago, but I never went back to it. Our dear friend and fantastic uh, chef, Chef chef Boyar B, if you will. <laughs> That's a good one. Chef Boyar B. Frank B. Hey, everybody. Let's take a short break from this commercial break for a commercial break. We love hearing from you, the listener. And man, so many of you have been sending in questions, comments, concerns, and content ideas. Plus, you've been asking for our advice, telling us stories, and sharing a little bit about your world. If you'd like to do that, you can at tcbpodcast.com. Go to the website, click the Contact Us button, and drop us an email. I promise we'll respond. You can also send us a text message to 855-TCB-8383. That's 855-TCB-8383. It's toll-free from anywhere around the world. Do us a favor and like, subscribe, and review on your favorite podcast platform. It really does help grow the show. And if you want to see Chrissy and I in a different light, you can go to youtube.com slash the commercial break and watch our full edited episodes a few days after they air at the commercial break on instagram and you can still use 661 the word best the number two y-o-yo to text or leave us a voicemail it's not a spam text message line neither of the phone numbers are we will respond thank you so much for being a loyal listener of the commercial break and if you're ever in the market for our sponsors products or services please use our specialized urls or codes it gets you free shit and it tells our sponsors we're doing a good job speaking of sponsors let's hear from them and we'll be back to this episode of the commercial break hey everybody i wanted to let you know that this episode is sponsored in part by our good friends at lululemon okay ladies and gentlemen and whatever you identify yourself with listen up because lululemon is not just for yoga pants the holiday season is here halloween is officially over and we need to start thinking about the gifts we're going to give each other and ourselves and at lululemon.com they have everybody covered i just got some licensed to train jogger pants and they are the most comfortable, the most cozy, the softest pants I have ever put on. That's no joke. There's a reason why millions of people across this country and the world have fallen in love with Lululemon. And at lululemon.com, whether you're male or female or identifying it some other way, you are going to find your style. And if you think it's all jogging pants and yoga gear, you are completely wrong, just like I was. I look on the website, they have polo shirts, they have slacks, they have shoes, they have socks, they have swimwear, almost anything you need for your entire wardrobe. Lululemon.com has it. Go to lululemon.com. Set the joy in motion this holiday season. Get cozy, get comfortable, get Lululemon at lululemon.com. And we want to thank Lululemon for being a sponsor of the commercial break. Go on, guys. Get yourself a pair of Lululemon pants. You're going to love it. Why don't more infant formula companies use organic, grass-fed whole milk instead of skim? Why don't more infant formula companies use the latest breast milk science? Why don't more infant formula companies run their own clinical trials? Why don't more infant formula companies use more of the proteins found in breast milk? Why don't more infant formula companies have their own factories instead of outsourcing their manufacturing? We wondered the same thing. So we made Byheart a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Welcome to Codependence. What's up, guys? I'm Sierra Miller, and I want you to join me and my sister, Maya Allen, every week for the inside scoop into our sisterhood. You will be getting front row access to the good, the bad, the ugly, and the pretty. So come let your guard down with your fellow codependents as we laugh and, of course, cry our way through this crazy world. See you every Wednesday. I love 
love hosting New Year's Eve. Sorry. That said, it can get a little chaotic. Thankfully, I made sure the party was stocked with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. Drizzly lets you compare prices on a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits, then get them delivered right to your door. Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. Frankie B. Frankie B. By the way, all dating content is now gone from his website. It's really? Up from the, he has absolutely tuned that thing up into a fine machine of workout videos, <laughs> travel review, cooking review, and occasionally how to get rich doing salon sweets. Yeah, salon <laughs> sweets. Frankie B. is back, and he's better than ever, children. I want you to know that he's now a chef. That's what he's doing. Oh, good. He's doing cooking videos. I'll let him explain. I don't want to get too much into it. Let's turn on old Frankie. There he is. Look at that. Look there at that. There he is. He looks like he's in a, the apartment showroom, like where the model. Yeah. He's the a, model apartment. Let's be honest. He's in a college dorm room. <laughs> like, are you going to tour an apartment home when you go to the model? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Meanwhile, as Chrissy pointed out, he's got a, a brown camouflage shirt on that matches the exact color of the cabinets. So he is blending yes. right into the cabinets. Yeah. yeah. He's got his hair look look curled. At him. He looks good. He's tan. He's, it's good for 90. He is tan. That's how I want to look. Tattooed. Yeah, I love it. I think there's something attractive about yeah. a tan man. <laughs> what do you th- how do you think? You really think I look good? I think you should dial day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I got, I got busted the other day by my wife because she was watching me edit or she was looking at me editing one of the videos, the YouTube videos. And I added like a filter (laughs) that made us look more tan. (laughs) She's like, Brian, you do not need a filter to look look more tan. I look like those cabinets. (laughs) It's a warm. It's called the warm a filter. Warm, I added warm. the warm filter. Just warm filter. it up. Yeah, I didn't want this. like warm a chill up, from the light, you know? It kind of takes away from my <laughs> magic glow. <laughs> All right, here he is, Frankie B, telling us, well, what? Well, Chef Boy RB. Chef Boy RB. Here we go. Gentlemen, and for any ladies who happen to stumble across my men's channel, and why wouldn't you watch it, girls? I mean, I don't... For any women that happen to be kidnapped. <laughs> for any women... Welcome to Chef Boy RB's, Frankie B's. Hey, if you're a chick, let your tits out. Don't worry about it. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Send your bras to Frankie B, P.O. Box 1245, Chicago College, care of my daughter. Stan, you know, it's a very diverse channel. You know, you may like this content and you may turn on your... What exactly is diverse about a white man always talking to himself about chicks? What exactly? Yeah, it, Where did the no, diversity come no, in? No, uh, Frankie, I think you nailed it. I, I think you got the definition wrong on that one. Yeah. Boyfriend, you may turn on your husband to it. You know, I built this channel in, in hopes to help we guys... built this channel... <laughs> I built this channel on blah, blah, blah. (laughs) It's over 50 to look great and feel better about themselves in grooming, fitness, fashion, and lifestyle. And then I started doing a couple of healthy recipes. And you know what? I kind of like doing this video. So I'm going to sprinkle in some of these little recipes. You know what? I've decided it's time to do something for me. (laughs) I've decided I give a lot of myself to the world. It's time for me to do something yeah, for me. I've, I cooked a couple of things. I liked them. So... Crazy, you're you're on. You're <laughs> you're spot on when you say that. I spend my entire life dedicated to the improvement of others, and I decided if I'm gonna, I want it's time for some me time. It is, it is Chrissy. time for some Frankie. Time. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna let my belt out. I'm gonna let his gonna hair down. Eat for some sure. raw eggs and creatine. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to cook up something for the kids at home. And you know what? Bring Glenn some of these little recipes. (laughs) Shut up, Brian. (laughs) (laughs) These that are healthy recipes that are good for both men and women of all ages. And in today's recipe, this is a very diverse recipe because it can go again. I've got some black pepper. I've got some white rice. <laughs> I've got some lotus flower and an eggplant, if you know what I mean. It's a very diverse video. Uh, recently, the people who produce my videos, my daughters, <laughs> have told me I've got to diversify. 
<laughs> I'm not even sure what that means, but here we go. It's, it's a very a diverse. diverse video. Mm -hmm. Either way, it can go for a great lunch or it can go for a great snack. You know, we, we all want snacks, but you know, we find ourselves going in the fridge, okay, and now we're grabbing cheese. Man bun and he has a man <laughs> bun and he just opened up his refrigerator and it's entirely full of bottled waters. You are right, Chrissy. You called this. He is in a showroom he's somewhere. In a, in he's in not even a model of He's apartment. not even in his own home. <laughs> he's, he's at one of the salon suite kitchens. <laughs> he opened up let's go back to the tail of the tape here oh, it's, oh, full, yeah, of it's water. full of water it's full only water uh, yeah there is a ketchup i think <laughs> and water hey look at that man bun it's, i know he's got yeah. the man bun he looks like a samurai <laughs> <laughs> he does. Well, he's a samurai i decided to diversify this up i am the samurai <laughs> of all things fatness fitness fashion fun lifestyle and grooming <laughs> <laughs> and I'm about yeah. to make you an egg salad sandwich. It's a diverse recipe. <laughs> grabbing cheese or we're grabbing a pudding, uh, whatever. You know it. You're there. Whatever garbage you got in there, you're going to go to that first, you know. Whatever garbage you water you do. got. Yeah. <laughs> whatever shit you got in the fridge. I'm about to make you a water. <laughs> a water with a water you. <laughs> Uh, welcome to uh, Chef Frankie B. <laughs> Chef Boyard B. <laughs> Chef Boyard B would like to welcome you to the restaurant. If you look on your menu tonight, we are serving water fed water, <laughs> grass fed water, water crust uh, on a top on the top of a bed of water. <laughs> we will also be having water steak with a water steak as you. <laughs> You're going to love it. It's delicious. <laughs> it's all natural. <laughs> yeah. Would you like a straw with your water water steak? <laughs> oh my god. Hear this and keep it in the refrigerator because it's a great snack. So if you get that little craving, okay, just to get, like, give everybody day. a setup here. He's got a bowl. He's got a couple of very festive bowls. He probably got those in Mexico. Yeah, when he was <laughs> down there at his Cancun he resort. Probably bought it at the hotel gift shop. Yes, exactly. He's yeah. got some eggs in one. Yep, and possibly feta cheese. Feta cheese or cottage, and that's not cottage cheese. Yeah, some yeah. kind of maybe cheese or popcorn. I can't tell. Uh, <laughs> and then there's a, a bowl that's a display that's a display it's yeah. oranges lemon, oranges lemons avocado, avocado and onion. onions mm -hmm. yeah by who the way who puts their onions and their oranges <laughs> together <laughs> all right reach in the fridge grab this snack or have it for lunch so if you're ready let's get into today's recipe Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Frankie's got to start every off. video in his car. He just ride. sped yeah. off and said, "Rocket!" Wow, <laughs> look at him, lifestyle, oh, fashion, fitness, fitness. Oh uh, yeah, pump it, pump, pump it, it, Frankie, pump it. Oh, oh, hello. Did he get that woman's permission? I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> Frank Bernardo. <laughs> I don't know if he got that woman's permission, but that woman has a smoking hot he body. Does. Yeah, I have a feeling that was just some girl in Mexico where he was like, "Hey, uh, I'd like your bathing suit. Can I take a picture for my daughters?" Okay, now walk. Keep walking. He is more of a healthy version of double days. Now we all love double days: mayonnaise, mustard, egg yolks, bacon. Eggs. <laughs> His face. As he I know. It. He's like, we all eggs. love deviled eggs. Bacon, ice cream, <laughs> truffles, <laughs> eggs. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, you could throw virtually anything in there. Besides the protein, you know, in the egg, the rest of it egg. is downright, you know, unhealthy for you. And the preface Plus of this video unhealthy. is I want... Yeah, what's Plus unhealthy color. about mustard? It's, it's got, got zero, zero calories. calories. <laughs> yeah, I think it's got negative <laughs> calories. It, it, that and semen are the only two things that have <laughs> negative calories. <laughs> By the way, who's cooking devil... <laughs> it's like he's like doing a cooking class about <laughs> devil egg. Eggs. Boil egg. Add mustard. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. I mean, how hard is that? He's All like, you I guys out this. there. I know. <laughs> I discovered <laughs> this on my way to Mars. <laughs> 
<laughs> On my way to finding a more efficient nuclear fission, <laughs> I discovered <laughs> deviled, eggs. deviled eggs. Let me go into my water cabinet here and bring out some eggs. To make it a habit of working out daily. And when you work out daily, you also have to eat good daily. Hand in hand, harmony. The two work so great fun. together. <laughs> hand in hand and harmony. Very Cook diverse. some nice deviled eggs with Frankie B. It's very diverse. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Remember that song? Yes. Like, Ebony and, and ivory. ivory. Together we're all in mm-hmm. harmony. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's the Saturday Night Live version, which I will not repeat here. But uh, yes. look up Ebony and Ivory Saturday Night Live if you want a good laugh. <laughs> Can't do one without the other. So this is a different recipe with deviled eggs. Only you it's going to be tuna you salsa. You sneaky <laughs> son of a bitch, Frankie. <laughs> You put the devil in deviled eggs. You are going to have viewership's going to go through the roof with this one. (laughs) You're going to be a star, Frankie. Keep coming up with these creative recipes. Deviled eggs. I want you to to do tortillas and salsa next. (laughs) And after that, little bread soldiers. You know, the kind your mom used to make with butter. If you get that right, kid, we're going to the top. Nothing's going to stop us. <laughs> Food Network's calling. Food Network is on the way. <laughs> An avocado deviled eggs. Now, if you saw my last video, I did the romaine um, lettuce wraps, and I, I had tuna, avocado, and salsa in that. All right. I'm on an avocado and salsa kick, okay? <laughs> I always eat it. A... I just got back from Cancun. I just got back from Cancun, and nothing tastes better than it. Avocado and salsa for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Deviled eggs, my cereal's got avocado and salsa (laughs) on it. Now, let me show you how. My first two recipes that I'm going to share with you, it's comprised... With you. (laughs) With you. With you. Look at his face. I know. Ah! (laughs) Hiya! He's a ninja, I'm telling you. He is a ninja. He's a food ninja. He's a devil egg ninja. Yes, he he's getting very excited. Yes. He's eyeing the avocado. I know. He's like, ah, I see you, avocado. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you with my mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, mostly avocados and salsa. So let me show you the ingredients. He's doing an avocado salsa devil yeah. egg. Stri- Oh, wow. Whoa, what great camera work. Look at that ring. <laughs> yeah, what is that ring? What did you do? <laughs> did you knock up a football player? I mean, what is that, a Super Bowl ring? Is that your high school <laughs> Letterman ring? What is that? <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. I swear to God, if that's a high school ring, I'm going to... Please let it be I'm gonna find Huggy. Ring. I'm going to find him and give him a hug. I just want to give him a hug. Please let it what be happened is he grabbed the camera and now he's showing you the action. Before it was like a head on <laughs> shot and you could see the counter with the stuff on it. But now he's up top, like he to grab the camera and he's looking down and the into angry, the bowls. The bowl of salsa. Yeah, none of which looks appetizing. <laughs> I, I just got to be honest. That, that salsa came straight out of, <laughs> out of a can. Yes, it did. Or he made it himself by dicing up tomatoes <laughs> and putting them in a bowl. Salsa, yum yum tuna. Our hard-boiled eggs. We got our avocados. And another another thing here, clementines, guys. What's that? He's touching them weird. I know. (laughs) 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 He's touching them weird. He's touching the avocados weirdly. He's grabbing at them. Call (laughs) 1-900-944-6211 and dial one for avocados, (laughs) two for clementines, (laughs) three for onion. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I know there's a lot of sugar, you know, in the in Whoa. the clementine, yeah. ah. but but honestly, you know, don't go overboard on this. This is another, you know, real good snack, and I'll snack on maybe just. There's only one person in the world that I know that can <laughs> opine over- about clementines oh. for three and a half minutes. Overboard, yeah. don't go overboard. Listen, don't go overboard, okay? I've seen some people OD on clementine super easy. It's not called the clementine, by the way. It's called a, it's called a fucking, what is it called? What are those little oranges? 
Clementines? They're not Clementines. They're, I mean, there are Clementines. They're but tangerines. Tangerines. Is it tan- and uh, small little uh, oranges. Yeah. Cuties. Cuties. Halos. Cuties. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people overdose on cuties, and it's not good. Not good. Fall flat out in the gym. Jen, I go, hey, man, where you? Get, come back to me. And he's like, uh, 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 what did you have today? More Clementines? <laughs> Are you on the Clementines again, Jim? <laughs> uh, Clementine. <laughs> oh, man. Three of these throughout the days because, you know, what? everybody thinks, oh, my God, you know, fruit is so good for you. But there's a lot of sugar in there, so you got to watch it. You know the routine. Obviously, we're just going to crack up our eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Okay, Frankie. Yeah, hey, Frankie, this is the part when you fast I, I forward through the egg cracking. <laughs> you don't need to actually show every egg being cracked. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he will. He, yeah, he will. He's setting them up. All right, we're just going to start out with two. I don't, oh, I don't need to be making... Thank God. <laughs> you know, 35 of these things. Usually, <laughs> I'll make about a half a dozen at a time, put them in the refrigerator, put saran wrap over it, <laughs> and then maybe... I know, the shell's <laughs> flying off his hands. He's like... <laughs> and he's got a black counter, so it's showing it. I know. <laughs> it's not his black counter, though. Oh, oh, no, it's the apartment It's the complex. black counter from the local plumbing <laughs> showroom <laughs> downstairs in his building. <laughs> You know, twice a day, I'll grab an egg, maybe, you know, maybe two. And if it's for lunch, I'll probably eat six of them, okay? Because, uh... Mow down on some, <laughs> some ah, yeah. doubled eggs. If it's lunchtime, all the eggs are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, eggs. I'm, I'm chewing on six, get, seven, twelve at a time. Let me get back to the fact that he's making the deviled eggs with avocado. Okay, I've heard of that. Yeah. Salsa. Mm. Getting in there. Yeah. Tuna, definitely no. not. No. <laughs> I have not heard of this combination yeah. for a deviled Those egg. Those are two really bad smelling things <laughs> put together. I can deal with one at a time, but you and they both taste good by themselves. But yes. tuna and tuna. Devil, and hard boiled eggs, come on, Frankie, tuna, that's just gross. avocado salsa. Salsa, Ugh. like tuna salsa. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Even deviled eggs and <laughs> avocado. I mean, I guess avocado okay. You could do it in the mix. But yeah, I wouldn't put any salsa in there. No, I really definitely wouldn't. no, no. salsa. Mm-mm. You're getting your. You might as well put Doritos <laughs> microwavable <laughs> cheese on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I you know that know Doritos to... or not the Doritos, the Tostitos oh, cheese, yeah, yeah, the, the liquid you, cheese, yeah, liquid cheese that you buy at the gas station, yeah, and you can literally <laughs> eat it like that. <laughs> I yes. think you and I used to buy those all the time. <laughs> I think we did yeah. too. <laughs> Good fast from the avocado, you know the salsa. It's just uh, pepper, jalapeno pepper, uh, tomatoes, an onion, and you're getting you know great protein. Which are don't worry about actually <laughs> cooking in it. this actual cooking video. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's like, everything's already put together. So uh, that, this is me, Frankie B, signing out. <laughs> he didn't even cook anything. What's he cooking? <laughs> Tuna. So it's a it's a it's a killer lunch. So super easy. Uh, you know the deal with deviled eggs. We're just gonna chop them open, mm-hmm. and I get rid of the yolks. Obviously, we do not. We do not want yolks. We do not yolks. We do not eat Stay yolks. away from the yolks. Kill the baby chickens. <laughs> Don't eat them. <laughs> oh, my God. He is, like, really a nut. Meat is murder. All right. Get this done. No, he's not eating it for the fat content. You know, a lot of people... Don't don't think about taking you know the yolks. No, because you usually you, know, you mix it egg. up. Yeah, because that's, that's a, a fucking deviled, deviled egg. Are made. Now you're just having hard boiled <laughs> salsa. That's that's what you're having. Hard boiled tuna salsa. I might add. Yes. Uh, welcome to Senior Frogs. Would you like some table side uh, salsa service? Ah, oh, yeah, that sounds great. Bring that on up. <laughs> what would you like? Uh, tuna? <laughs> tuna? Would you like some peanuts in your salsa? Cotton candy? You tell me. Cotton candy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you haven't like tried it, you're really going to love hard it. Hard boiled eggs yeah. is what I'd like. Yeah, I'd like some hard boiled <laughs> eggs with my salsa, please, sir. The tortillas uh, for me. Yeah, I'll take some. Yeah. Just the just the hard boiled eggs. I'll do another shells. margarita, thanks. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I even in the morning, you know, I'll eat anywhere from four to six uh, egg whites. 
every morning, and then I do a you know protein shake too. This so I eat a lot of uh, delicious. A lot of protein. Oh yeah, tuna and hard boiled <laughs> eggs every day. God, he's ready for a first date. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's a there's a lot of uh, cholesterol, and there's a lot of extra calories, you know, in the yolks, and you're so used to eating them with that that you feel you're missing something when you just eat egg whites. But trust me, you should just eat egg whites and get rid of the yolks. You, you don't need the, the extra fat. The door you behind you. <laughs> yeah, could you close the cabinet door, change up the change up the camera angle, and put some good lighting on your face? Because this whole thing is a hot mess from beginning to end. It really is. It's a cooking video with no cooking. He's giving us a lecture on every ingredient that is actually not an ingredient Clementine, at all. Yeah. Four of them a day. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be real careful with these clementines. They'll sneak up on you. Look <laughs> straight to like your it's ass. Fentanyl, yeah. <laughs> Need the extra cholesterol. Okay, we got our eggs done. Right. Now right. it's just a matter of he's got, meshing. Look, it's the tiniest cutting board I've ever eight, seen. Yeah, he's got the tiniest cutting board. He he's didn't. Got the eggs he didn't come good. anywhere close to taking out all the yolk. It's a big hot mess. I mean, <laughs> it's like I think most chefs. <laughs> Who cook on TV for a living would be appalled yes, by what's going on here. Yes. Ingredients, not a big deal. We're going to cut up our avocados. We're literally going to cut these avocados in half and put them on top of the egg. <laughs> yeah, I really, I mean, how is he making this? Well, watch, he's going to, this is the old slice trick. There you go. Slice and dice. Get a little spoon, spoon them out. These are a little. So I'm having a hard time finding ripe avocados. That's always the war, you know, when you go to the store. You want it that day. That's why he's got his camouflage shirt on. <laughs> you go in the front door, I'll go in the back. B formation, two by two. You call me when you get on the boots on the ground. Let's find ripe potatoes to go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in aisle 14. It's a blood bed. There's clementines everywhere. <laughs> I have a ripe avocado over here, quick! Get off! <laughs> I'm gonna throw it. Sarge, it's more serious than I thought. There's clementines everywhere. Ah, <laughs> uh, this calls. I'm gonna have to go nuclear on this one. <laughs> Let's microwave the avocados <laughs> right in their husk. <laughs> We're gonna have to go to Whole Foods, boys. Roll out! The war, it's the war uh, every time. Uh, oh, Frankie! You know, it's only maybe with me, maybe forty percent that I'm actually gonna get avocados that I can eat that day. Sometimes you go in, they're hard as rocks, they're like bocce balls, and then other times you go in, they're uh, very... They're uh, like my balls. <laughs> <laughs> they're soft and flowy. That's like 40% of the time. I got a spreadsheet. <laughs> I can see Frankie at the oh, house that. like building a spreadsheet. <laughs> Today I went and got avocados yeah. hard. Yeah, store yeah, <laughs> store entries versus uh, avocados realized. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, his phone's ringing off the hook with angry salon sweet customers. You told me it would run itself. <laughs> so I'm working on some calculations over here. I'll get back to you, Bob. <laughs> ripe they're overripe they're mushy and they're garbage and you know that's not gonna work so we chop <laughs> up I'm up our so uh, upset avocado, about that. mash it up real good so that's a terrible because there's mash. not a lot of room oh my God. in the eggs okay so you gotta you gotta get this avocado pretty you know almost to the point where it's a little bit whippy normally i, like I don't know about you chrissy but i think he's <laughs> destined for television chef stardom yes it uh, yeah. seems like i mean anyone would want him uh, what is that uh <laughs> celebrity chef off or whatever it is uh what is that iron uh, chef, iron chef. Yes. I, I he should that. absolutely compete oh my god <laughs> Please, somebody that listens to us, be a part of the Food Network like station of like family of stations. And please, somebody, somebody just get like I would love to see. Uh, you know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see a triple D, a diver's diet, whatever that is. Drivers, uh, diamonds, diamonds and dives. Yeah. 
on Frankie B. Oh, yeah. Stop by one of his salon suites because that's where he's recording this and get, get that guy guy. Yeah, he's in like a salon kitchen. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. A little bit more chunky, you know, because I, like I like the taste of it. I, I don't like whippy avocado. I always like it just a no little whippy bit chunky. avocado. Oh, you want know, strong, masculine yeah. avocado. No you want whippy avocado. Yeah, like a, I don't, you almost like the texture of a hard <laughs> penis. That's what I say. <laughs> It's, I had to go to war for these. I want them to taste good. Just gonna add in our salsa. Oh my god! Okay, my like so. You're gonna have to play with how much salsa I don't even like you to mix, mix in with my your salsa avocado. With avocado at the restaurant. No, it's not. A, it's not cooked. They're separate. Yeah, they're separate. It's two different, distinct flavors. <laughs> yes. Hate people who like go mix in their uncooked. pico de gallo, which is just really bad salsa on top of their guacamole. Yeah. That's what he's doing. I miss some people like a lot. You know, I like it like, you know, 50 50 on that. Nice consistency. And then guess You're what? Killing Super it, easy. Frankie. Can you imagine <laughs> just, what it's. You just mixed. <laughs> Guacamole with salsa. And now you're about to you're throw in kill- canned tuna on top of it. I can you only imagine what it's like to live with this guy. Like, you actually have to listen to this every day. Yeah. Hey, honey, come down. I want to show you how I make my deviled eggs. <laughs> She's like got a gun to her head. She's like, I don't know. I don't know if I could do this one more day. No. <laughs> hey, honey, come down. I'm going to show you my brand new tip on how to keep your hair full and fluffy into your 70s. Just throw in the tuna. Oh, when you take oh. the tuna out of the can, again, you want to mash up this tuna. You want to get it fine because when it comes out of the can, oh, that's tuna. disgusting. Like it was already bad, but then the tuna. Yeah, you're mashing the. Uh, uh. And it's chunky, <laughs> and again, you know, look at the cavity that we got in the eggs. It's it's there's hardly nothing there. <laughs> The cavity. The cavity. Yeah, we got the eggs. Who uses that language to describe the hole in the <laughs> egg? The cavity. It's gross. Oh my God. Hey, honey, open up your legs. I want to check out your cavity. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, right. Honey, I'm going to go down on you into your cavity. <laughs> Can I stick my pizzle in your cavity? It's called a puenda. <laughs> Pudenda. Pudenda. <laughs> so everything's got to be chopped up fine. Okay, we got our tuna. Mix it up real nice. That looks disgusting. Looks so that looks disgusting, and I'm not even sure what the... The egg is just serving as a vehicle it to is. get to your mouth. You might as well <laughs> eat it with a fork. Spoon it. Yeah, yeah, spoon yeah the egg serves no purpose whatsoever. No. It's a boiled egg okay. white Yeah, <laughs> that you took entirely too much time to crack and fiddle with. Now it all looks just That's disgusting. That's cavity. Yeah. <laughs> okay and again all these are are quick you know get up in the morning before you go to work grab a pot boil water throw in your eggs 10 minutes it's done do a dozen put them right back in the carton stop and put yelling at me chop up the tomatoes <laughs> salsa jalapenos get your water out get take a it, sip get your can 10 minutes opener, yeah. your tuna. break open your <laughs> eggs get your can <laughs> opener your tuna run down to the whole foods look for some ripe avocados get an onion slice it up slice and dice before you know it, it's 12.30 in the afternoon and you've missed an entire day of work at the Salon Suisse. <laughs> That's my way. That's the Frankie B way. The Frankie B method to say sales and success. <laughs> yeah, you missed her all morning. <laughs> <laughs> Spend three hours making a snack that takes you three minutes to eat. <laughs> but don't worry, throw a couple in the fridge. <laughs> Wake up tomorrow, do it all over again. <laughs> Monday through Friday, you're great. You'll be energized and ready to go. <laughs> Trust me, you'll be hungry by the time these things are right. done. <laughs> Nothing about this. It's so awful. I am drooling. I'm laughing so hard. By <laughs> the time you're done, you'll be yeah. hungry. <laughs> nothing. nothing. Just pop a few in your mouth. Yeah, just pop a few in your mouth while you're making the next round. <laughs> Easy recipe. Three to 12 days and you'll, you'll have six of these bad boys ready to go.
<laughs> Don't be afraid to nibble out a clementine or two right away, but be careful. These things sneak up on you. <laughs> We'll go straight it. to your hips up in the third yeah. one. <laughs> Meanwhile, it took Frankie 30 minutes to explain how to make this. And, and that, he, he already and had the ingredients yeah, out. Yeah, it was too. all prepared before he did it. <laughs> Jesus. In the refrigerator. Don't last you a good week, week and a half, easily. Ooh, I like a little. Now, now I I don't know the other it. way. So, avocado does not last a week and a half anywhere. No way. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? And tuna from a can? I would eat that within five minutes of yes, opening. Exactly. Yeah. Do exactly. not listen to Frankie. I made some good tuna fish last night. Ate it right away. Yeah, of you course. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie's going to give you sepsis along with, <laughs> with a great snack idea. Shake it, shake it. Okay. What was that? Garlic salt. This is this is the mean. This is the oh, big ingredient the right stuff here. Too, like I'm telling you, public love brand. garlic salt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the brand because who knows? Maybe they'll advertise. But you know the brand with the red label and the red top. You know what I'm talking about? A dollar, a dollar for any spice that's probably not even the real spice. My girlfriend don't like it too much. And it's just a touch of regular salt. don't like it too much. Kind of a- yeah, garlic salt is not something I would put on in salsa and avocado. It, hey, it's all he's too gone, much. He's gone off the rails. Yeah. He's like me. He's just throwing shit in a bowl and hoping that it turns out okay. Salt freak. All right, and again, we're going to mix that up. Mix it. Mix salt. Why don't you just throw it all in together, Frankie? <laughs> that I, He's saying mixing, but he's just stabbing his <laughs> fork. Yeah. I think somebody ought to teach Frankie the mixing motion. <laughs> right. First of all. Second of all, you could have just thrown this all in at the same time and then mixed it up yeah. once instead of, uh, I don't get it, yeah. but anyway. Okay. How nice is that? You it looks just disgusting. It looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I know. Looks like a horse. How nice yeah. is that? <laughs> It looks like a horse just shit out. Yes. It's avocado. A, a bale of hay. Uh, <laughs> if you're into that, uh, yeah, yeah. Check out his video. Check then. out the video. I'll put a link in the description. You know, just just right here. Right out of the bowl. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, why yeah. Okay, again, excuse my mess. I'm not taking the time to clean up between every single take over here. Hey, it's just a matter of I'm not ta- <laughs> he's talking directly to the girl who's his girlfriend filming it. I'm not taking my time to clean up after every mess, to negotiate every conversation, to stop cheating on my girlfriend. I'm not doing that, okay? It's a man's world. And, but if you stop by my channel, stick around. You're gonna love it. I always use forks. I'm not a I'm not a spoon guy. It's just a matter of spooning. I'm not a spoon guy. It's just a matter of spooning. Spoons remind me of vaginas, which I call cavities. Paddle <laughs> your tuna. Oh your my egg. god, Chrissy! Okay. That's so gross. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Is that? He's is not that even like totally trying to garnish it incredible? with anything. That, that's yeah, out the no. window. <laughs> no, it's totally incredible that you came up with this awful recipe and you think somebody wants to eat it. That's what's totally awful. Oh, God. Look at that. Beautiful. Down there. Do one more. I mean, I'm going to enjoy. Oh, even the okay. sound of it sounds. Yeah, I know. This- <laughs> oh, no. nice. the, name, the name of the game is to. Get yourself in a habit of making recipes. I know everybody is always using the excuse, you ain't got time. You got time. You got time, you know, to run out you to the bar with your, with your buddies. I got time for that. <laughs> you Take it out of your children's soccer game. Dropping them off at yeah. school. Forget about it. You got time. You're just making excuses like my kid has to go to the doctor or my wife broke her leg. <laughs> I have to go to work. It's war out <laughs> there. If you've been to a Whole Foods lately, good luck finding a ripe banana. Make the time. <laughs> I do it all the time. You make time for what's important in your life. In and meanwhile, while he can't ever sit still while he's talking, he's just like me, by the way. I do this too. So while he's talking, he's got the fork in his hand yep. that's full of tuna and it's just flying everywhere. It's like, ah, ah, ah. He's got the egg in the other hand. I know. <laughs> Eating is very important, especially... (laughs) It's just throwing the food everywhere. 
<laughs> He's got no idea. Uh-uh. Older guys, us older guys, our organs are getting older. Our bodies are getting older. It, we're breaking down every day. So if you so don't feed tuna. and fuel <laughs> that <laughs> body, yes. uh, this tuna avocado is going to build you back up like you were 22 <laughs> again. Rock hard erections, nocturnal emissions. <laughs> Run a 440 in 10 seconds. I'm telling you guys, these tuna fish <laughs> cavities <laughs> are what you need. <laughs> Throw a few clementines yeah. and you're done. So take the next 12 to 15 hours and make yourself four of them. <laughs> you're just, you're going to age. You're going to age hard and you're going to age fast once you get, you know, into your 50s and 60s. Wouldn't it be nice to slow down the process? All right, it's working out and eating healthy. Is this is this like freaky incredible? <laughs> no, it looks like you shit it's on an egg. It's freaky bad. Yeah, it looks like diarrhea uh, on an egg. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you will love it. If you enjoy today's recipe, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. For all of you who are watching. Oh, I subscribed <laughs> months ago, Frankie. <laughs> and it's We're been a, and it changed my life. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. man. I we was just... actually a little hungry before we started the show, not but now anymore. I'm not. No. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I have no interest in eating. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I'm finicky eater. I'm never going to eat again after watching <laughs> Frankie with a mouthful of turd give a French kiss. While he's talking, food just <laughs> spitting out of his mouth. He did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You got to check out Frank. We do love you, Frank. Yes, we do love you. Yes, we, we, do. we have so much fun with you, but we do love you. I have a suspicion that you're watching. I I, I, I kind of feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, I kind of feel like you're watching. Point. We know. We put a few of the pieces of the puzzle together, but we love you, Frankie. Keep them coming. The dating ones too. Those are our favorite. Don't let those go, man. That's your no, bread and butter. Yeah. That's your bread and butter. Those were your most watched videos. Don't stop doing that. That's my favorite. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Chef went. Boy R B. <laughs> Does it again. He does do yeah. it again. He took 12 hours to make a snack he ate in two seconds. He's branching out, too, into cooking now, yeah, and cooking, I don't know. Fat, fitness, I don't know. I, I, don't know I think, I might, I think I like the dating videos better, but, you know. I think I might just want to uh, see, a, like, a workout, you know, thing you where wanted, he maybe goes to different machines in the gym. He, he <laughs> has a couple you. of those. The problem are it's it's the noise. It's so noisy oh, okay. that There's it's not great. There's yeah. barbells banging around in there. Yeah. I, of course, I, I haven't been through every single <laughs> uh, workout video because I find them to be the least interesting of Frankie yeah. B, but I'll see if I can find yeah. one that we can yeah. use. Hey, guys, I want to thank everybody who has been so attentively paying attention to our sponsors and visiting their websites and buying their products. We are thank hearing you. great feedback. So thank you very much. You're doing it. You're doing it, and that make, means we get to continue to do more content for you for free. Three this days a good week. stuff. What's that? This good stuff. Yeah. Who doesn't want this? <laughs> Avocado tuna recipes, yeah. boom. If you paid calm $49.99, you get shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, thank you. Go to our website for our uh, sponsor specialized URLs and codes, or you can check the show notes. 661-237-8296-661. The word best, the number two, Y-O-Y-O. Hit us up. Comments, questions, concerns. We'll take it all. If you want to be on the show, let us know. At The Commercial Break on Instagram, YouTube.com slash The Commercial Break. And, of course, TCB Podcast for all the audio and the video. Keep on using those sponsors' URLs and codes. Chrissy, I think that's all we can do today. I think that's it, Brian. Well, I guess I love you. I love you. And I guess I love you all there. Best to you, Chrissy. Best to you, Brian. Best to you out there in the podcast universe. Until next time, we always say, we do say, we must say, bye. The mistletoe margarita, the Scrooge driver, the North Pole punch. The holidays call for cocktails. So get everything you'll need for them delivered with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. So what's it gonna be? Classics like Bullet Bourbon, Don Julio Reposado, or Kettle One, or maybe something new. Find it all on Drizzly where you can get beer, wine, and spirits delivered for any holiday festival. Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com today. Must be 21 plus. Not available in all locations. 